I uh, went to undergrad right out of high school and I wasn't particularly mature or ready for it necessarily, as is true for a lot of students, and I uh, kind of messed up the first two years. I ended on a high note and um, from there I went to the Peace Corps, I lived in Africa for two years, learned a lot, came back, went to grad school, got my master's in English, and uh, at the same time I was doing that, I was teaching at a major university. And um, so 20 years later I wanted to go back and learn Spanish at the same university and when I applied uh, to my great embarrassment and sadness I was rejected because of um, the, what the damage I had done to my grade point 20 years earlier. Um, so I felt sorry for myself for a few days and then I decided I had to do uh, something about it and I contacted the department, uh, the College of Humanities, and I explained to them that I taught there and uh, wanted to know what I could do to repair the situation and um, within a day I had a phone call from one of the associate deans and said we didn't see your application uh, I'd like you to reapply and um, let me know when you've done it and that's exactly what I did he reviewed my application saw that I'd been a good student as a grad student and uh, they admitted me to the school and I learned Spanish I would uh, remind myself and anyone who is listening to this story to, to go ahead and, and feel what you need to feel in that moment, but, but pick yourself up and reach out to the people who can help you, not just to the people who are going to listen to you be sad or angry, but also people who don't know you who can help you achieve whatever you have failed to achieve. It was really hard at that time because, you know, my parents were splitting up. There was a lot going on and um, maybe just I would just let myself forgive myself for, for messing up, that there were a lot of reasons why I was messing up and that I was allowed to be distracted from my studies at that time. And, you know, everybody messes up. And that's when you, that's when you learn. That's when you, when you really learn is when you uh, realize um, you don't want to feel that way anymore. And, and certainly I didn't, there was nothing catastrophic that caused me to start getting good grades. I just hit a rock bottom point where I just said, this has to stop. I just can't feel this way anymore. And I'm going to flunk out and that's not an option. So what do I need to do to stop that? And I doubled my grade point in one semester. It's, it's just really critical that you listen to yourself, you know, be, be who you are and listen to that, your true voice inside yourself and, and tune some of that other stuff out uh, when it becomes overwhelming because I think it can guide you in directions that you really don't want to go and, and that you know you don't want to go but you're not sure how to veer from them.